Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to begin kind of like a series for a Lego character. Uh, so these are going, going to be fairly short, so we're going to just break down and do parts of the Lego, uh, but it should be, it should still be short over the course of a few videos anyway. But uh, we're going to try and keep it under five minutes or so and hopefully we can do that. So the head, we are also going to allow or we're going to, I'm going to show how to create the divot or the little hole that can go down inside this as well and the bottom part of the head that is cut off from the floor in this one uh, but let's go ahead and get started from there open up a new blender uh, file and go into the front view go, click on your cube and go into the add modifier click add modifier subdivision surface increase to about three or so right click shade smooth tab into edit mode and then we're going to want to select these top four vertices however if we do so we only get two we want all four of them to fix that just go into wireframe mode and reselect it you will get all four of them and then hit E now if you right click after you hit E it will just go right into the same spot if you uh, don't it will extrude it up and you'll it won't be in the same spot I guess it'll just extend it in a spot where we don't want it just right click on it and it'll go in, in the same spot we want anyway hit E again to extrude oops I just extruded twice didn't I I meant only extrude once I uh, hit S to scale it down and you can see the dots right here scale it to about where you would have uh, this part where you would just imagine it. You can pull up reference uh, images online uh, that, let's go maybe a little bit smaller and we'll call that good somewhere in there and hit E to extrude it up and looking good right? Uh, no probably not that looks pretty sucky <laughs> So the main reason this is happening is because the subdivision is rounding off this corner, is rounding off all the corners. However, if we want to crease it and still have it look subdivided, we can use what's called a edge uh, edge loop. And so if we just hit Control R, we can add our edge loops in. And I'm just going to put it on to the edge where I would want to add it so we can see if we put it on this edge this yellow line right here is created just click and let go and then drag down and I want it about there do it again for the top and I'm going to do it for this as well uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to switch to solid mode you don't necessarily need to if you don't want to but you can uh, if you hit control R it's just mainly so that you can see the contrast between this and this line because you're going to want to do control R on this line right here and this will create a loop cut that goes around almost in a different way but yeah it's, it's going to go around there and then I'm going to drag it a little bit closer in there and hit control R and do it for the outside edge as well so now we have a round edge here around edge here around edge here the only one thing that we probably want to do left is we would want to add an edge cut right here on top uh, you can see it's kind of way it rounds off all the way across we don't necessarily want that however if we hit control R it won't just let us put like we did here one that goes right here uh, so the best way to do that is to go back into your front view make sure you're in wireframe, select the top four vertices hit E and right click and scale it down and essentially we have the same thing that we would have if we that we wanted to do if you want to you can also hit E and extrude it down to get that uh, the, the little divot that you get the inset I guess what probably what it's called and you can also add loop cuts on the edges there uh, I don't think I'm going to I think I just kinda like it like that um, and now we're gonna do the bottom half of the guy so add one more loop cut down here control R 
and you can see it's probably, it looks rounder at the bottom and that's because we haven't added any of these other loop cuts across the top on the bottom so let's go ahead and s make sure your wireframe and select the bottom four vertices hit E and right click and scale it down if we notice uh, I'm just gonna see if I can pull open so I just did uh, a Google search for Lego characters uh, online and I'm looking right here okay that guy's kinda fake but a lot of the characters have looks like they have like a bigger connector on the bottom than they would have on the top and so yeah as you're yeah like for instance this right here this and this is a little bit wider than this and this I guess that's what I'm getting at uh, so we would want to just make sure that this is wider than this a little bit so I'm gonna make it somewhere around there and extrude it down and then loop cut it now something that I just realized I didn't I don't like the proportions don't feel right to me he's got like a really tall head so I'm just going to grab everything and bring it down I also notice that this looks really small to me uh, however if we just make it bigger it's going to get bigger taller as well so this we would want this to be on the same line as that uh, whoa I did not mean to delete that okay so the easy fix for this is to go in the top view by hitting 7 on your numpad and hit S and lock it to an axis uh, for instance like the x-axis and do a 1.2 1 1.1 well, yeah 1.2 scale on it and then do S and do on the y-axis and do 1.2 as well now we just didn't scale it on the z-axis and it looks a lot better already uh, the one thing that we probably want to do is add our loop cuts down here across the bottom and one more all the way down here although no one is probably going to see it oh, I do not want to delete it, I just want to go solid, there we go and voila that's pretty much uh, that's it so thank you for watching this Lego uh, tutorial, this Blender Know How tutorial um, stay posted for another uh, video as well for the body and all the other, the, all the other parts and we'll see you next time on Blender Know How